Are you excited about the trip? Not at this moment. <laughs> I was freaking ecstatic. And all I really needed was just to get one cup of coffee in me and I'd be good to go. Del Retiro, and it's really nice. There's a lot of people at a park for a Saturday morning, and we're stopping to have some coffee before we go and enjoy the rest of the park. Let's get into it. Instead of waiting this ridiculously long line right behind me here, I'm gonna just walk around the park and enjoy the uh, scenery. One of my favorite things to do when I get to a new city is to get lost and find my way back to wherever I might be staying. And I'm really liking being lost in this park. It's quite gorgeous. All that walking has us exhausted. So you know what you had to do since it's our first time in Madrid. We got Chinese food. Belly's full, now it's time to go see some of Madrid's best architecture in Plaza de la Villa, one of the oldest places in Madrid. Next up was Mercado do San Miguel, this beautiful glass and iron structure. That's an open market with tons of delicious, beautiful food and drink for everyone. Let me introduce you to El Rio Jano. It's a renowned, ornate 19th century bakery and cafe for classic cakes, pastries, and coffee. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. I had this delicious chocolate with amazing fluffy cake. Here we have Madrid's first rail station, Atocha, Puerta de Atocha. It's a massive structure of brick and steel. And within the inside, there's an atrium with a beautiful botanical garden. Today, the older section is used as a shopping mall and offices for the rail companies. But you can still feel the history and just be in awe of this structure and how vast it really is. On the other side, you have the newer structure, not as beautiful, but it supplies. Here we are in Lavapiés. It's one of Madrid's most multicultural neighborhoods and a real reflection of its colonial history, if you ask me. You see people from South America, Central America, from the Caribbean, and also from Africa. So I ended this trip doing what one of my favorite things, shopping. Shopping second hand. <laughs> There were so many boots, with so many things, old things, new things. So that's what I did with my 24 hours here in Madrid. Now I'm going to end it with what I love to do, eating with friends. Thanks again for joining me here on Curry Up and Go. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.